other day I started to make a little table well I didn't start to make one I started to renovate one which was given to me by a neighbour to renovate um, and it had some nice old hardwood on the top which was a bit rotten and nasty I think some parts which are really quite badly damaged and a lot of the top part was like this um, but underneath on a lot of them was okay so I've been managed to uh, turn them over give them a good old sand and the rest of it is kind of a metal framed table and there's a few joints that have come loose so I'm going to try and weld those together again and see how they come out um, so I've got a couple of jobs to do I'm just waiting on a welder at the moment because at the moment we don't have one um, I think a neighbour has got one which I can borrow so hopefully I'll be able to do that in a couple of days time but for the meantime I'm going to be uh, kind of re some of the wood that was on the top and I've got to find some replacements as well so we'll see what we can find here are some of the bits of wood that I've taken off the top and um, these ones here are ones that I have sanded already so this was the old top face which has now been made quite a lot smoother but what I shall do is when I put them back on the table I will put them back on uh, this way up so that the old underside will now be the top side which is a lot more intact and um, I don't know the word hard wearing so yeah that's what I am doing with the rest of them Quick repair of the helmet. So I just went and did some welding with my neighbour Graham. How's it working? One of the machines didn't seem to want to work for us, which was the wire fed one, which was a bit annoying, but um, I think there might be a problem with the way that the wire's being fed in. So we just used a little um, arc welder and played around with some of the different rods that he had and ended up using some dissimilar rods. It's new terminology to me, but apparently they're good rods for welding kind of different types of steel together. I've now got my legs on the table all secure. I'm about to start painting them. Texas sun. When I fall from home, the cold winds blow. Stuck out somewhere, folks I know. Cause you keep me down, so you keep me warm. Painted with a couple of coats. So, um, I have to turn the table over, give the top. A coat of paint because I haven't done the you know what at the moment would be the underside um, and after that it's finding some nuts and bolts and sticking it back together okay so I have just bought the table back from the back of the garden I've finished off uh, oiling all of the slats of wood and the table is all nice and finished and painted so now it's just for a nice bit of assembly and I've also got the chair somewhere else that went with it that we uh, have some rest in the garden, so I'll fish that out once I'm done. Say you like the way, blowing in your hair. Come on, go with me till the sun goes down. Texas up. Okay, so I have now attached both ends of the table with bolts, and I need to do now put in this middle row here. Um, but as you can see, the gaps between all of the slats isn't even, so I've just gone and cut myself a bit of a wedge so I can hammer that in from the other side, and then when I go to um, drill the holes, 
and put the bolts in it will secure them in a nice even spacing. I need to go and change the angle on my wedge. So that's now a bit shallower and nicer when I got a second one if I need it. This is the table and chair that we've done. Um, in, they were slightly different woods, so we've got slightly different colour. But um, here we go.